everyone's all excited uh, during the bidding war. And then at the end of the bidding war, when you're sitting home alone, you're like, what did I do? This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. You know, one of the things that's happening in this fast moving market right now is a lot of people are, in order to be an, an effective buyer and you, you're not a cash buyer and you have to use a loan, a lot of times people are waiving their appraisal contingency. When you're qualifying for that loan, it doesn't appraise what, I mean, what do they, I mean, this is the thing that we're seeing is it's a big challenge. Don't you think so, Mark? Yeah, and listen, I, I think everything should start with of what's important to that individual. You know, everyone's in a different scenario. Everyone's focused for different reasons why they're purchasing. And so you have to be comfortable. Whatever you're hearing is happening in the market, be less concerned about that and more concerned what you want, what you're trying to accomplish, what your financial ability is. You know, because there's some people who are willing to pay over appraisal, but can't. Let's say you have a buyer who says, look, it, I can pay 10,000 over appraisal, um, and I want to cap it at that. What's interesting about that is you've got a buyer who knows their financial situation because there's two issues. There's one selling the home and then getting the buyer who actually can close on what their promise is. You know, I can pay a billion dollars for your house, but if I can never <laughs> actually close, you don't get any money. <laughs> That's right. So the seller has to be realistic working with a qualified sales executive in company that says, look, yes, we want to maximize your equity but with a real purchaser. So when I have, when, when you see a purchaser who says, I can pay 10,000 over, but no more, that's a comfort level because mm -hmm. they get where they're at. And no, I can't get over, but guess what? You will take my offer, I'll close. They get buyer's remorse afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's all excited uh, during the bidding war. And then at the end of the bidding war, when you're sitting home alone, you're like, what did I do? Yeah, I just agreed to $70,000 over listed price. I don't want to do this. Right. My friend says I'm crazy. And before you know it now, that person is a problem when you thought they were a great buyer. Now that offer gets accepted. That agent, it clearly what the agreement is in writing, but they don't really understand what's in writing. Yeah. So now you go forward going, no, this is great. They've waived the, the appraisal. Then the appraisal doesn't appraise like you, it, you knew was going to happen. Right. And the other one goes, oh, you have to lower the price. No, we don't. Oh, why would they ever pay? So now you're you're 45 <laughs> yeah. days down the road with the same issue yeah. right up front. I laugh, but it's it's true. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. I mean, they just don't get it. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. We'll meet you on the radio next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on the new 101.5 FM 720 AM Kdon, the talk of Las Vegas.